assalamu alaikum welcome back to my channel so today's video is on how to make this love for max dress and if you're just viewing my channel for the first time welcome to my channel my name is balkis and i make diy videos on max dresses hijabs abayas and angel babs so if that's the kind of content you're looking for then do well to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to tap the notification bell to be notified when i post a new video so for this tutorial, I'm going to be working with a gesso fabric and I'm using 3 yards or 3 meter fabric. And then I have my chalk, triple, scissors, and then my straight hoop. Then the measurements we need for this tutorial is our back measurements, our bust measurements, waist, sleeve length, round sleeve, gown length, and hips measurements. So I'm going to be working with my measurements in this tutorial. So, for my measurement now, my back is 15 inches or 38 centimeter. Then my bust is 34 inches or 86 centimeter. Then for my waist, my waist is 26 centimeter, 26 inches or 66 centimeter. Then my hips is 36 inches or 91 centimeter. And then for my sleeve length, it is 22 inches or 56 centimeter. Then my gown length is 55 inches or 140 centimeter. So the first thing I'm going to do is to take my highest body circumference, which is my hips, and that's 36. So I'm just going to add 20 inches to it. And that will give me 56 inches or 141 centimeter. So what I'm just going to do now is to cut out 56 inches or 141 centimeter for my fabric and then I'm going to fold it into four. So I cut that out and I folded it into four. So after folding into four, I'm going to get my upper body length. So I'm going to make my ruffle seven inches. So I'm just going to subtract it from my gown length and that will give me 48 inches. So I'm just going to add two inches for my seam allowance. For the upper seam allowance and then the lower part seam allowance. So, and that's going to make it 50 inches. So, from the length of the fabric now, I'm just going to cut out 50 inches. I'm going to check out 50 inches and I'm going to cut it out. So I check it out already, after which I'm just going to cut it out. And then the next thing is to start inserting our measurements. So to do that now, the first thing I'm going to do is to come down my hammer point, which is 8 inches. So I'll just come down by 8 inches. And I'm going to mark that all around. And then for my waistline, I will come down by 15 inches. And then for my hip line, I'm going to come down by 24 inches. After which, I'm going to connect the dots. So after connecting the dots, I'll insert my shoulder measurements. My shoulder is 15 divided by 2, so that's 7.5. Then I'll come to the arm point also and insert 7.5 then. After which I'm going to connect it to form a straight line. And then I'm going to form my arm curve. So after forming my back arm off. off. I'm just going to go in by half an inch to form the front arm off. So that's for the front arm off. So after forming my arm off, the next thing I'm going to do is to insert my bust measurements. So my bust is 34 centimeter or 86 centimeter, 34 inches or 86 centimeter. So I'm just going to divide that by 4 since my fabric is folded into 4 and then I'm going to add 3 inches for ease and also for seam allowance. Then for my hips, for my waist, that's 6.5 inches. Then I'm going to add 3 inches. So that's 
Then for my hip, that's 36 divided by 4, so that's 9 inches plus 3 inches is and same allowance. Because I want my gown to be fair, I don't want it to be fitted on my body. So I'm just going to connect the points. And then I'm going to take my neckline. So for my neck, I'm using 3 inches by 3 inches or 8 centimeter by 8 centimeter. After which, I'm going to take the shoulder slope. I'm just going to come down there by 1 inch. And I'm going to connect it to the neckline. So the next thing I'm just going to do is to trace the line down to the last edge of the fabric there. I'm just going to make a straight line to the last edge of the fabric there. So after which I'm just going to cut it out. So I'm going to trace the back parts first. After which I will remove the back piece to trace out the front ammo. So after tracing it out, we have something like this. So I'll just remove the back piece in order to be able to trace out the front ammo. So I have just the front ammo here, so I'll just trace it out. So after cutting my normal piece, for my remaining fabric, I just cut out 60 inches by 8 inches. That is 152 centimeter by 20 centimeter. And I cut out three pieces of it. So two pieces here will be for the down ruffle. Why one, the last piece, that is the third piece, will be for the cross ruffle. So I'm just going to join two of the pieces together to form the lower part of the dress. So I'm just going to join two pieces together to form my down ruffle and then the last piece will be for the crossing at the front. Then for my belt, I have 4 inches by 60 inches fabric. So I'm just going to fold that into two. After which I'm going to join one hand and I'm going to close the other part, leaving just one hand open. Then for my sleeve now, since my sleeve length is 22 inches, so I'm just going to deduct 7 inches for my flip part there. So I will be left with 15 inches. I'm just going to add one inch seam allowance and I'll have 16 inches. So here and I have 16 inches of 41 centimeter. And for the length, I have 17, 11 inches. So I have the two sleeves in fold and I'm going to cut them together. So the first thing I'll do is to come in by four inches there. After which I will take my round sleeve measurements. That is where the flay is going to start from. So this is about 10 inches, so I'm just going to mark it, divided by 2. Then I'm going to take my seam allowance. So I'm just going to make my sleeve curve. And then I'll connect it to the 6 inches point there. After which I'm just going to cut it out. And then I'm going to notch the midpoint. Then from the remaining fabric, I have 30 inches by 30 inches, so I'm just going to fold it into two. After which, I'm going to fold it into four. Then after folding into four, I want my flay sleeve to be about 7.5 inches, plus same allowance. So I'll just go ahead and mark seven inches at the upper hand there, or 18 centimeters. So I'm just going to mark that one out. Then 
and then I'm going to take my sleeve length measurement which is 7.5 inches or 19 centimeter So after marking that, I'm just going to cut it out. So the reason I use 7 inches is because I want my round sleeve to be more than my normal round sleeve so that I'll be able to pleat it. So I have that already. So I'm just going to cut it out. And then I'm going to slit that two part. I'm going to slit it open. I'm going to open it up. So now I have flay for both my sleeves. So I'm just going to gather it up to the sleeve parts. And that's for the second sleeve. So coming to my front piece, now this is my front piece, I'm just going to come up by 2 inches at that edge. Then at the other side, I'm going to come up by 18 inches. After which I'm going to make a diagonal line from the 2 inches point to the 18 inches point. So I'm just going to mark it. So after marking, I'm just going to take my tape to take the measurement there. So this is about 30 inches. So coming to my third ruffle now, I pass the thread to a needle and the thread length is about 30 inches. I prefer to use needle and thread to make my ruffle. You can use your normal gathers in the sewing machine. So I'm just going to start passing it and I'm going to gather it up using my needle and thread. So I have the 30 inches, so I'm just going to use my hand to adjust it to the way I want the ruffle to be. So after adjusting, I'm just going to place my ruffle to the diagonal line there. And I'm just going to sew on it. And I'm placing it right side facing each other, so I'm just going to sew on it. Then after sewing it, this is what we are going to have. So the next thing I'm just going to do is to place the back piece on the front piece. So I'm just going to join this shoulder, then I'm going to join the sides. So after joining, we are going to have this. So I'm just going to take my tape now and I'm going to take the circumference of the down part, that is the lower part, I'm going to take the circumference there. So mine is around 26 inches. So since the fabric is in fold, the gum is in fold, so that should be about 52 inches. So I pass the thread of 2 inches, so I'm just going to use it to gather up the ruffle. And I joined the two ruffle together already, so I'm just going to start gathering it. This is my needle and thread. You can use any means of gathering fabric that you know, but I prefer this. So after gathering it up, this is what I have. I just use my hand to adjust it to the way I want my ruffle to be. And that's my needle hand. So what I'm going to do to this ruffle now is to attach it to the down part of the fabric. So I'll just attach it all around to the circumference. 
the down part. So after attaching it, our gown should look like this. So the next thing now is to go to our sleeve. So for the sleeve, I gathered up my flay parts already. So I'll just attach it to my sleeve. And I'm going to stitch that part. And I'll do the same to the second sleeve also. So after stitching that, that's what we're going to have. So the next thing is just to close up my sleeve. So I'll just go ahead and close it up. Then I'm going to attach my sleeve to my gown piece. So I'll just attach it right side facing each other. So I'm just going to stitch that place around. And I'll do the same to the second sleeve. So after stitching, I have this for a gown piece. Then I'm just going to go ahead and hem the neckline and then hem the ruffle parts also. Then you can interlock it if hem is too stressful. Then for my belt, I'm just going to come to the closed part. That's the ruffle part. I'm going to come to the closed parts. Then using my scissors, I'm just going to turn the belt in. So I'm just going to pull it out. So after pulling it out, I'm just going to fold the open end and I'm going to stitch on it to just cover up my belt. So I did that already and I hemmed the neckline. So this is the finished look of our dress. So this is the finished look of our dress. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. And if you do, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you really, really like this video, don't forget to subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in my next video, inshallah. And if you have any question, don't forget to drop it in the comment section. And if you have suggestion for the channel also, don't forget to drop it in the comment section. Just like Aaron.